Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador from East Coast. And I have the privilege today to interview Gina Riley from West Coast, Portland, Oregon. Hi, Gina. How are you doing? Great to see you. I'm awesome. Thank you for being here. So in her role as a career coach, she shifts her client's mindset from quick resume fix to helping them develop a sustainable professional career plan. She, took, she takes a modern approach by considering the things that crowd our lives, limit our time and attention span, and cause us to neglect our long range planning. She transforms her client's approach to their career development and helping them build a sustainable process to last in their entire career is her ultimate satisfaction. So Gina, as a career coach myself, that's also one of my satisfaction when I see some of my clients, you know, successfully, and then they email me, I found a job, and that's what the, all the satisfaction that we want. But in that sense, you also mentioned that we don't want fixed quick resumes. And it all comes at the beginning, like when the clients are uh, applying for a job, I always tell mm -hmm. them, customize your resume, use the keywords. It's important, even if you're applying to the same kind of job, customer service, change something, arrange something different. In that sense, what tips you have for international students, new immigrants, in terms of customizing their resume when applying for a job? Um, I think that your advice is sound and it, it translates and transcends across any job seeker. Um, and it doesn't mean that you have to take your core base resume and go and tweak it for an hour, right? Yeah. That is probably time not very well spent. So you're exactly giving the right advice, which is you look at the print, the job description, take a highlighter and go through. And this is what you're going to be thinking. Like you're going to be thinking if I was a recruiter recruiting for this job, what yeah. keywords would I put into the search engine mm -hmm. to find someone like me, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's probably not these kinds of words. Great communication. I'm not finding you for that. I'm not putting that in the search engine. Yeah. Team builder. Nope, probably not that either. It's going to be the hard skills. Mm -hmm. Do you have the core qualifications? You know, it might be a degree. It might be a certification. It might not. I don't know. But yeah. um you know, it could be customer service or customer experience. That's a hard skill, yeah. right? So pay attention to what you have to kind of be a sleuth, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uncover what you would do if you were the recruiter. But is it okay? I always tell like, have the, have the job description, have your resume and see if you're using the word. Is it okay to use the same words? Because the ATS system is going to check on this words, right? I think so. And what you want to do is not do it in a gratuitous manner. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to just throw the word in out of context. It needs to flow in, within the context of a real yeah. bullet. And you want your bullets to not be task based. Mm -hmm. You want them to have some kind of quantifiable or meaningful result in it. And it's not always a percentage sign, dollar sign, mm -hmm. um, and so on, but it, it could indicate that you increased or improved something yes. or you decreased something, which gave a positive mm -hmm. result when it came to financial gain. Yeah. Always put accomplishment statement. That's the key. Uh, that's, I think that's very important for the clients, right? Right. Uh, that are great tips, uh, Gina. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Gina a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us the whole week. You can like, share, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Gina.